Let me know if you are able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Yes. So today we are going to talk about objects in Salesforce. So objects means objects in Salesforce is a re is represented in the form of table, right? And that is why we call it as entity in a database. Okay. So objects is nothing but a table. As you can see here, we have different different tabs here, right? Opportunities, leads, tasks, accounts, contact, campaign. These are all different different tables, and these are all provided by Salesforce. So there are two types of objects. First is standard object, standard object which which are by default provided by Salesforce. Okay, and the example is the same: opportunities, accounts, contact, campaign, leads, tasks. And then we have custom object. Custom object means the object which we create for the business requirement. Okay, so right now, like this, we can always create a custom object, meaning that we can always create a custom table as per the business requirement to store the data. Okay. Now these are all objects provided uh, for uh, sales. Okay. Now let's say that we have a different requirement. We are um, we are working for a company, and that company has a hiring team. Okay. So for that purpose, we don't see any kind of table over here or object over here. You know which will fulfill our requirement and where we can store our data. For example, candidate information, position information, manager, hiring manager, something like that, okay? Job posting, okay? So for that purpose, we can always create a custom object according to the requirement. Now let's understand some of the standard objects, okay? And why, I mean, what is the purpose of that object? So first object is lead. Okay. So here, these are the sample data for lead. So lead is basically people who are interested, you know, in your product and services. Okay. So you might have seen when you go to any uh, browser, okay and uh, search for anything uh, let's say a website um, for any products there you can see form right first name last name your email address phone number uh, you are interested in products so product name something like that when you select that information okay that information goes into the system and it becomes a lead meaning that the organization will know that you are looking for their product, right? And you are interested in it. For example, Okay, now let's say if I go to this particular um, organized um, website here, I will search. Okay, and here we have different different types of product. So let's say that I click on this particular product and it should open the form. Let me see. Let's just understand this, okay? So here I can give my email address, right? My 
uh, interest in product and other information. And when I click on submit, okay, it will go into their system and it will create a lead into the system. Okay, meaning that I am interested, I'm showing interest in that particular product. So, converting leads, okay, to a loyal customer will provide success, okay, for the business. So, that's the reason every organization has marketing team, sales team, okay, and by managing your leads in a systematic and structured way, okay, we can increase both number of leads generation and how many leads we can create or oh, sorry convert okay so meaning that now these are all sample data and consider that these are all the people who are interested in our product okay so what i can do is i can let's say for this first list as a sales user okay i will work on that particular lead Here, lead owner is me, okay? So, let's say that this lead got assigned to me. So, from now on, I'm going to work on this particular lead as a sales user, okay? We have phone number, we have email address over here, okay? Status is working contacted. I will uh, contact the lead, let's say via phone number or email, okay? We'll have a communication with lead and systematically i will convince the customer to buy a product okay so once the customer is qualified i can convert this lead can you see this button over here convert okay i can convert this lead so this is a path this is a systematic path which sales user will have to follow now whenever you create uh, any organization, I mean, for any organization, these are, these values are all same, okay? But there might be possibility that every organization will have their different, uh, you know, categories or different types or different steps, okay, towards converting a lead. So in that scenario, as an admin, as a Salesforce admin, we can always add or remove new values in this particular path okay in this particular systematic flow as of now there is no need so i'm not going to create it but later on i'm going to show it so let's say that i have worked on this and now customer is ready to buy a product so i will convert this list uh, lead okay click on convert button select convert status okay once I select convert status, once I click on this button, select convert status, you can see here I have to create the account as well as contact and opportunity. Okay, we are going to talk about these objects as well. But right now, just focus on either we can create new one or let's say the comp the company or the organization is already present in our system we can always choose existing okay and then convert click on convert button so once we convert it okay it will going to convert you to account contacts and opportunity and this lead will get vanished you won't be able to view this particular lead because now it has converted okay Okay, now let's understand what is account. Accounts are the companies or organization that you are doing business with. Okay, so for example, for this lead, Bertha, okay, for this particular lead, you can see here we have a company field which is farmers Corp of florida okay now let's say that 
if I converted this lead into accounts, so what will happen? This company, okay, this name will begin an account in the system and it will have the um, information, account information or organization information. For example, let's view the account which you know, we have already in our system, which is Burlington Textile Corp of America. So here we will have account name, account number, account phone number, okay? Type, what is the type? Industry, annual revenue. Here we have billing address for that particular company as well, okay? Website, so these are all fields, okay? Which we have for account object. So this is nothing but a company or organization you are doing business with. Then next is contact. Let's go to contact in a separate tab. So contacts are basically the people who work for that particular company. Let's say that we are doing business for the Burlington Textile Corp of America. Okay. So there will be some people who are belong to this organization who works in this particular organization. Okay. So here we have all the company information. Okay. What is the name of the company? What is the website of that particular company? Annual revenue, industry. Okay. Uh, and other information. But if we go to the contact, you will see we have the information for that particular contact itself, okay? Which is, let me first search for specific contact, okay? Okay, he, we have Jack Rogers, okay. I'm going to open contact in next time. Okay, so this particular contact works in this particular account, okay. We have account field over here, okay, which shows that this particular contact works in this organization. Here we also have uh, phone number, fax, email address of that particular contact and other information and mailing address as well, okay? Later on, you can always create custom fields in the organization uh, for any object, okay? So, from this, we can decide that that which particular contact belongs to which particular account, okay? And last is opportunities. So opportunities basically track and manage the potential deals with Salesforce opportunities. Okay. Meaning that opportunities are deals in progress. Now customer is ready to buy a product. Okay. Now see. This is also belongs to the same. No, I don't think so. This is a different opportunity. Okay, no, it's the same one. Okay, this this is also belongs to the same account. Okay, and here you can see this part. This is all in green mean, meaning that the customer has already purchased a product okay now when you create the opportunity first stage will be the prospecting stage okay, let me just go here and mark as current status okay prospecting stage okay now a sales user will work with the uh, our, our customers or clients okay and they will track their deals systematically and accordingly, they will close their deals. Closing a deal means either customer has purchased a product or customer did not purchase a product. Okay. 
So here we can track details about our deals, including which account they are for, right? And who are, uh, you know, uh, the contact as well. Here we have, okay, not here. Okay, here we have contact role as well, but as of now, this is not added. Okay, but when you convert uh, into account contacts and uh, opportunity, system will by default automatically add that particular contact, meaning that this contact over here. Okay, so we can see that who is the organization, who is working with our sales team and the progress of that particular deal. Okay. And then finally, they can directly close the opportunity. So let's click on close button, select close stage. Okay, when I select on, when I click on select close stage, we have two different values over here. First one is close one. Okay, if I uh, select as a close one and save the record means, we have closed the deal and our customer has purchased our product. However, if I select here as close lost, meaning that customer did not purchase our product and he is no longer interested in our products and services. Okay. Here as close one. Okay. I have a question number, Polly. Yes, please go ahead. Um, so when the opportunity is closed one, what happened then? Did it get like uh, closed? You won't able to see that on screen? It is closed, right? But still I'm able to see it on the screen. Closing okay. any opportunity means a customer has purchased a product. So even though customer has purchased a product, we will be able to see the history of the particular deal, right? Mm -hmm. What is the organization? What is the uh, contact opportunity and all of its history, right? As you can see here, this is closed now. It's on the green, okay? okay. Can you see this green means? Yes, so that I understand. I was thinking like it goes into the like a lead or something, or maybe I'm getting no, no, no. Okay. It doesn't go into the lead. Okay. The flow is like first lead comes into the in into the system, then salespeople work with the leads, okay, and convince them to like uh, purchase their product. Now, let's say that they are qualified and they want to purchase it, okay? Then salespeople will convert them into account contact and opportunity. And now they will work on that particular opportunity towards closing the deals, okay? Try to close the deal as soon as possible so that customer will purchase the product. But sometimes there might be scenario that at the end customer will say that, no, I don't want to purchase right now. We will plan it accordingly. Something like this, right? So in that scenario, meaning that we have lost this deal. Okay. Now this is close for let me show you those laws. What is prospecting? What is qualification? Okay. So I have marked this as close last, meaning that this is the lost deal. Okay, even though this is a loss deal, still we will be able to view all the information about that opportunity. Okay, I'm Rupali. Yes, I'm sorry to interrupting you, but what is qualification, need analysis, value probe? ID? These are all the steps you know provided by uh, Salesforce. These are all different different types of steps. Okay, now this is not necessary that this will be there for each and every organization. As I said earlier, 
okay every organization has their different types of steps qualification mean let's say that the customer is qualified to you know purchase the product now this is uh, for your understanding how sales people work okay you don't have to work on this particular uh, like ui we can say what your what your work will be let's say that if there is any requirement to add or remove any value from this path okay so as an admin you will have to do that let's say that uh, there is any another requirement to add any fields over here okay or change the position let's say we have a mount field over here our client wants that field below lead source okay and they want order number let's say over here so as an admin you will do these type of changes this um object uh, you know installation which i'm giving you it just for you to understand okay from the sales people perspective how they are going to work because whenever you you, you will create anything in the system as an admin you will also have to test it as well right a proper flow let's say that you have added any uh, value over here uh mm -hmm. you, you have removed need analysis and you have added some value over here okay now you have added the value over there but how you are going to test it you are you will have to come to any opportunity you will have to check whether that particular value is showing or not when you select it it should you know uh select it correctly when you click on mark current status whether it you know mark it as current status or not something like that okay so okay. as the admin the, these steps is customized steps so yes. that admin uh, will create that yes but yeah. you will always receive uh, the requirement from your client okay that which steps they want to work oh okay okay thank you yeah thank you mm -hmm. no problem so so opportunities leads accounts contact okay these are all objects created for you know sales users okay so that they can work on any lead and uh, accordingly convert it into a deal and close the deal successfully in a systematic and structured way okay otherwise what will happen if i if if i uh, will not explain you what these objects are okay why they have uh, created by sales force okay and what are these you won't be able to understand let's say that in future in case you have joined any organization and they will say that they want something requirement like uh, changing page layouts for opportunities okay you will still be in confusion that why they are using opportunity why they are using account what is the meaning of account because as i said earlier we can always create custom object according to our business requirement right so we can create it and let's say that you have created some two three custom objects so you will know right why those objects were created what was the requirement but these are standard objects and whenever you will work for any organization okay they will have definitely sales team and marketing team which will work on these particular objects okay so you should at least have a basic knowledge what these objects are even though you don't have to uh, you know do these steps on a daily basis your work will be the backend administrator who will have the uh, permission privileges to do the changes and modifications in the system okay okay now let's talk about task so we have task here okay so sales user what they do they create task okay and we can see those tasks let's say if i on the lead if i go to the activity from here i can create a task okay for the 
next day let's say that call i have to call the customer due date is 20 okay which which is related to bartha boxer assigned to me and status is not started if i save this okay one task will be created and i will see that particular task in upcoming and overdue now consider that sales user are dealing with leads on a daily basis let's say 50 leads a day so they will not remember what they have to do on that particular day right and that's the reason they create a task so that whenever they will come to the lead they will understand what they have to do okay something like that they can send an email from uh, using this email button as well okay so task is also a table where you can create task and assign it to the user and for different different objects okay we can also create task for account we can also create task for contact as well and lastly we have campaigns over here so anyone know what is campaign have you heard about the word campaign campaigning is something like uh, promoting our product right so the same concept is here as well in salesforce as well marketing people use as campaign object okay they can create uh, different different campaigns okay uh, let's say that this one gc product webinar okay and this campaign uh, the start date was this one and ended was this one okay and here in this particular campaign we can see how many people have attended that, that particular campaign okay so you might have uh, seen when you go to any campaign they have a form okay which you have to fill up right so what happens when you fill up that particular form okay that means you have attended the campaign so the same concept here as well let's say you have attended our, our campaign okay and you have fill up a form so first it will create a lead and it will also create a campaign member as well okay say a uh, marketing people will add you as a lead over here meaning that you have attended our campaign okay so sales user will know that which campaign you have attended which product you are in you, you are interested in right so for that purpose uh, sales user has given campaign object okay any questions any doubts no okay. no okay. so this is a basic overview of standard objects which salesforce has already provided okay now let's see different topic which is app in salesforce meaning that application in salesforce so as you can see here this is the app name sales okay and like this i have different different apps for marketing for service okay so for marketing people let's say we have campaign object leads and contacts over there okay for service object oh, sorry for service application uh, we have account contacts and case object okay because um, and for sales application we have these objects okay so we can have different different applications in the system so app is basically uh, application is like a container you know in our salesforce for all the object tabs and the other functionality so app, as you can see here we have sales application and for this particular sales application 
we have different different tabs added over here okay and we can access those tabs now we can also have a logo over here as well okay because it's a combination of application name here we can add different types of uh, tabs for any object uh, we can have a logo so it's like a group of tabs okay that work as a unit over here okay so here as well we have two types of application first is standard of the application the app which comes with every instance of salesforce okay by default which includes app launcher as i said earlier this this nine dots we call it as app launcher in salesforce language okay if i click on this nine dots and click on view all these are all different different types of application which provided by salesforce itself okay amrapali i have a question um, will all the application have the same standard objects or no no all the applications have different purpose right to serve okay sales application is different marketing application is different right service okay. application is different let's say that now customer has first will be the marketing team will work on campaign sales team will work on sales application they will work on leads accounts contact opportunities now let's say that customer has purchased your product but there there is some issue with that particular product so what will happen you will have a different team which will provide services to the customers right meaning that okay. if they have any issues so like customer support to yeah, something like that. yes right customer support okay. exactly so for that Salesforce has created service or service console. Okay, sales okay. console and sales application is basically uh, the same thing. The only difference between um, this application and this application is, if you go here in sales, you will see tabs added like this. But if you go to the sales console, you will see that we have a drop down over here. We have to click on that drop down and then a list of tabs will open. There. okay okay yeah okay. so these are different different standard application provided by salesforce okay and these app can be customized okay even though these are provided by salesforce we can still customize it meaning that if um, the user okay they are not using let's say campaign object over here okay so we can remove campaign tabs from this particular sales application okay we can remove and add other object tabs over here as well but the I label i'm so sorry is a can we uh, remove the standard object from there yes you can okay not the tab though yes we can uh, we can do the tab okay tabs right in order to access those object we have to access it through tabs so these are our tabs okay so you can remove it however the label okay description and the logo we cannot change on standard application okay this is all provided by salesforce the sales this one so we cannot change it but we can always remove and add tabs over here now the second type is custom application so custom application is same the app you know which we can build for uh, to meet the specific business requirement or need of the organization and in that custom application okay uh, we can add the tabs according to our business requirement we can add logo as well custom logo okay 
the name will be also you know depend upon our business requirement so we can create a custom application right now i don't have any custom application in my system but in next class we are going to see how we can create custom application okay in the salesforce app okay and as i said earlier these are all tabs meaning that it displays the data of object okay in the application if i want to access lead i will have to click on lead tab if i want to access opportunity or uh, store data store data in opportunity okay then i will have to click on opportunity tab okay and from here i can create new opportunity meaning that when i am create when i will be creating a new opportunity meaning that we are storing the data okay so here as well we have standard tabs and custom tabs so as you know these are all standard tab provided by salesforce but okay when we create any custom object in our system that time we can always create a custom tab for that custom object okay so we are going to see in the next class how we can create custom tabs how we can create custom objects custom application each and everything in detail okay we don't have to worry about it uh, i today, have a question mm -hmm. so if you have uh, created a custom object uh, you have to have a custom tab in order to have that yes yes okay. because you will have custom object but you won't be able to access it or you won't be able to add it to any application if you do not create any tab custom tab for that custom object once you create a tab and add it to any application then you will be able to access it otherwise no okay thank you yeah. the reason i ask it is going to be like too many like if you uh, like as you see there are like 10 you can and then there will be a drop down how yes. many tabs we can or uh, customize uh you can create the custom tab uh, depend upon your custom object list let's say that you have 10 custom objects you can always create 10 custom tabs but there but is no there way. might be scenario mm -hmm. that these 10 custom apps okay uh, sorry 10 custom objects are divided in different different parts for example two to three objects you are going to create for sales team two to three objects you are going to create for a marketing team two to three objects you are going to create for hiring team okay so in that scenario what will happen you can add it to the different different applications and you can always remove uh, the tab which you know user do not use as of now here we can see five tabs added over here once the tab i mean uh, is uh, like a limitation okay only this tab will show on this bar so we have a more button you can always click on more button and access it any question no i was asking like there is any limit like it has to be only like 20 uh, tabs or 30 tabs or 50 there is a number or there is uh, a limit less uh, i am not sure about the limit i will tap here i will check the limit okay Any other question? No, thank you.
No, Amrapali. Uh, Amrapali, I have a question. How to remove this tab and how to create a new tab? Uh, as I said earlier, we are going to see each and everything in the next class. Okay. In a systematic way. Okay. So as an administrator means once uh, once we started uh, starting working, so we have to do this work. Yes, meaning that it it will be all, all the back end work, right? The non admin user, meaning that the sales user, marketing user, they will not have any kind of access to uh, you know go ahead in the back end and create and modify something. As an admin, only you will have access. Okay. Okay. So they will be like using the CRM. Okay. They are using the UI and they are using it to maintain the data. Okay. And your work is maintaining this whole organization. Oh, I am in the Okay, thank you. So, yeah, that's it for today. In the next class, we are going to, uh, you know, see the practical about it, how we can create objects, then application tabs in Facebook and everything. Okay, let me stop this page. Um, Devendra, Amrapali, is the yes. Devendra here? No. no. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, can you able to see my uh, resume? I, it's been prepared, and Dave sir already checked it, and he said um I can consult you guys. Okay, sure. You can send it to us, and we will check. I did uh, send it to uh, Devendra. Um, okay, Devendra. Yeah. He will. He, he will respond to you. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay. And he said, uh, "You guys will go over, so I can understand more. Like you know, what is this all about?" Um. Sorry, I didn't understand your question. So uh, he said that you will go over the as resume and so I can okay. understand better um, like what each line means. So if the interview call yes. comes. Okay. Yes. So first you will have to give the resume to us. Okay. We will review it. Then we will schedule one session where we can discuss your resume. Okay. Uh, I did send it to him and I will send it to you. As he well. will he will respond. Oh, okay. okay. Because he said, uh, we, uh, I spoke to him. He said maybe uh, after this um, session, we can do it. That's why I was asking. Okay, guys, you can uh, all leave. Diksha, you can wait for two minutes. I will check with them and I will let you know. Okay. Okay. Hello, Amrapali. I have little questions about the lighting record pages there. I can't able to make something. So do you have five minutes for me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Ashwini, Fazan. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you. I'm Bye. Good night. Bye. 
Okay. Uh, Ruma, right? You yeah. can share your screen and yeah, sure. show me this show. Fezan, you can also drop off from this meeting. You can able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. Just, uh, just give me a moment. Okay? Yeah, sure. 